Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to the Cardone Solutions Podcast. I am the host, your host of the Cardone Solutions Podcast. My name is David Bradley. I am a senior sales and marketing manager with Grant Cardone. Got my expand or contract t-shirt on tonight. Um, And that's the big question. Are you going to expand into this universe or are you going to contract? It's a decision we make every single day. So what do we do on the Cardone Solutions Podcast? We do a couple things. But number one, what what we want to do is, I mean, look, it's... 85-90% 85-90% of what Grant Cardone does, what we do at Cardone Training Technologies is 100% free. Service will always be senior to selling. Give, give, give. These are core fundamental processes of things that we do here. Okay, So I want to make sure, and on the Cardone Solutions Podcast, one of the number one things I want to do is make sure that the free content we put out there has is, is getting through and that you're using it and you're using it in a way that can grow your business, can grow your sales, can grow your life, can grow your career, can grow your family, can grow your community, that you're using it to what? Expand. Okay. So if you're listening, if this is the first time, thank you for being here. Uh, if you're loving it, if you're getting something out of it, please share it with somebody else. The, that you think might benefit from it as well. And make sure to subscribe to whatever podcast channel you prefer to use because I'm pretty much on all of them, okay? So let's get into today's topic. So it's Monday. If you're not watching it on Monday, I'm recording it on a Monday. And what I like to do on Monday is look at Grant's strategy of the week and look at some ways that you can really truly apply it to you, to your life, to your world, your business, right? Um, And so what we're going to talk about today, what we're going to address, what we're going to confront uh, is the real reason Grant Cardone moved to Miami, okay? And what is the real reason Grant Cardone moved to Miami? I mean, we're going to address that, right? Uh, We're going to do that. We're going to do that right here, right now. And a lot of people ask this question. You may be wondering it yourself, okay? And there are also... um, Man, there are a whole lot of opinions attached to it as well, and not all of them accurate. So there's some false news, fake news, false data out there. So what's most important, though, as we explore the truth of this matter is also, again, this is what's most important, is that what can we learn from Grant about right actions and the right actions to take in terms of creating success and prosperity in our lives? And this is really what Grant was addressing in his latest strategy of the week, okay? So here's the real reason Grant Cardone moved to Miami. It was to boom his business. So if you look at the strategy, you'll see that uh, Grant was unable to operate his business in California due to government constraints. They were interfering literally with his ability to do business. And to be clear, this was not just about taxes. While that played a part, It was also about the state and local government simply, well, not being appreciative of small business owners and entrepreneurs. So Grant's message, or his move, excuse me, was also sending a statement to not just the California government, but to government that we're not going to just tolerate being pushed around, uh, neglected, right, and then financially penalized, okay? So Grant's response to the tax hike in California, quote, It is a massive increase. It's actually a 33% increase, and they won't be done there. This is the state of California admitting it's broke. California is the most beautiful broken state in the country, and this is just the first of many increases. So from at that point, Grant sells his house, his cars, loads up the truck, and moved from Beverly Hills, that is. Dating myself right there. Okay. If you know, hey, if you know what I just quoted from, leave it in the comments. Okay. Uh, so Grant lands in Miami. He then invests the 13.3% tax savings back into the business, back into growing the business. So Grant goes from having five employees in 2010 to 185 in 2020, plus another 350 remotely around the world, okay? So, here's your action idea. Here's what I want you to do. Let's bring this back to you. 
doesn't matter where you live, doesn't matter what state you're in, doesn't matter what your tax bracket is, take a look at your expenses. This is what I did. Look at your expenses. What are you spending money on that isn't actually serving you right now? You may not even notice it. Like what kind of subscription services are you not using? What can you give up for reals? What do you not need? Okay. But more importantly, you're spending it already and you may not even know that you're spending it. How can you reinvest that money into your business? So let's start um, as an example. You're a salesperson in a company and you crack open your checking account and you look at Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, Xbox Gold, right? The gym membership that you only go to two or three times a month. How much is that? What if you took that expense, pick just one, cut the rest, and reinvest that into what? So the concept of reinvesting into your business, it just doesn't apply to the rich. You see what I'm, you see what I'm suggesting here? Okay. In reality, it's exactly how the rich got rich, and it's also how they stay rich, most importantly. Okay, this is the real reason Grant moved to Miami. So now step six in his book, The Millionaire Booklet, says save to invest. Okay, don't save just to save. And then step three is to increase income. So how can you cut out what you're not using, what you're wasting money on, or certainly not, and then reinvest it back into you? Because you're the most important investment you're ever going to make. Right? So then, we save to invest. We invest in us. We don't save to save. Step three then is increase income. So if you want to increase your income, then you're going to have to increase skill. So the first investment you're going to make is what? It's you. Okay? You are the most important investment you'll ever make. Period. Knowing where your money is going now, that's vital. Cut out the wasteful, reinvest it into you so you can increase income and then reinvest that into you and then into growing your business, whatever that may be, okay? Now, when it comes to increasing skill, called Action Time, we have a program that can help with that. It's called Cardone University. Uh, if you'd like to get some free access to that program, and I will show you what you can do, whether that's you or if you're a sales manager or an owner of a business with a sales team, I will show you what you can do to get every salesperson in your company an extra two to three deals in the next seven days free. I want to get you a result before I ask you to do business with me. Okay? Now, last thing. How does this help? What would you learn? Okay. What do you start to think with right now? Where, where's money leaking out that I, that I can put back into me, right? Where's the money leaking out that you can put back into you? So that's your homework. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hope this helped. Leave me some comments below. Again, make sure to subscribe if you love it. Make sure to share it with somebody if it's helping you. And be great because nothing else pays. Have an awesome week.